Joining us this morning on Studio 10 is financial expert Dale Gillam. Hi, hey, Dale. Hi. Hey. 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 That is extraordinary. I know. $32 billion. Yeah. How did our debt on credit cards get so bad? Oh, look, it's... You know, when I was young, when I was with my mother, we didn't have credit cards. You know, yeah. it was always... If you wanted something, you just you saved up for it. You had the lay-bys, you, you know, you went to mine, you, you picked it out and you just kept paying it off. But then they brought bank card in and then it started to that cycle. And it's a cycle of self-gratification or mm. feeling good. You go shopping and you buy a new bag mm -hmm. or you buy a new TV or you, and you get that instant gratification. And I, I actually call it the hole-in-the-pocket syndrome. And what happens is, is people build up some money in their bank account, then they don't know what to do with it. And they go, hmm, I should be investing this or doing something positive with my life, but I don't really know what to do, so I'll go and spend it. And then they, mm. they go and spend yeah, it all. Yeah, because I'm nodding listening to you because I know <laughs> I Ooh. enjoy purchasing things because I like the feeling it gives me. Right. Is that how we get on that sort of debt treadmill? Oh, it is. It's because in the credit cards, it's, it's not money. Mm. And mm. so that's that you'd lose that connection. Mm. When I first started working, and, and probably some of you are the same, you got paid cash in a little envelope. Yes. yes. And you went to the mm, bank. Yellow one. Yes. And you, Shelled out a little bit for each little account, your Christmas savings account, your personal savings account, your cheque account, mm. and you had it all balanced out. It's like your grandmother with the little tins mm. saying this is the milk money and this is and the ice money. The electricity. Right. Nowadays you just get paid in the bank and you use this mm. plastic thing everywhere. And it's actually been, they've actually done research that shows Ooh. that people are more willing to spend on cards, and that's including debit Ooh. cards, let alone credit cards you don't even have to pay for until later on, than yes. they are with cash. Um, credit cards, are they... I mean, they're the, you know, they're the heroin, aren't they? Of oh, absolutely, absolutely. They're bad debt, like really bad debt. And, and this, I, don't, I find Australians don't understand debt. Yes. They really don't understand and debt we, and what is it. Are we now hooked on credit cards? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. It is a drug. It really is a drug because it just walk past a shop mm. and you go, oh, that's really nice. It's but, on special. But you say Australians don't understand debt. Mm. Um, are you saying that's because they, they don't know how to pay off their credit cards? You know, they pay off the minimum amount. Correct. And not not a better proportion of the maximum amount. Therefore, mm. they're incurring more interest. It's a, that's what Absolutely. it's all about, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and it's a debt cycle. And I remember my mum, when she got her credit card, my mum was um, single mum, three kids, you know, on a pension. She got this credit card, a bank card, and my mum would always... We'd sit there with a little notebook and she'd yes. write down everything she sent, open the purse, and we'd count everything and make sure to balance. The credit card came along and the interest went onto mm. it. And I started work at Westpac. Which is about four times the interest you'll pay on Correct. a normal loan. 16 days, so. to 20%. But what about the... I mean, it's easy to say, well, look, if you have to put it on a credit card, don't buy it. But what about mm. people who are struggling month to month mm. with mm. the bills who need to put, you know, the electricity bill, for example, mm. on their credit card because they just don't have the money to pay for it at the moment. Mm -hmm. Is there... How do they get out of that? What's, are there other options for them? Oh, there is. A lot of people... It's about getting rid of the highest interest rate first. And credit cards are always going to be the highest interest rate first. Right. So if you've got a housing loan, it's easy just to do a little bit of a redraw on that, pay the credit card oh, completely. Really? Off. Housing loans are four to five percent right yep. now, and your credit card's fifteen to twenty. Yeah, so, but then people oh. use the credit card and do it again. Correct. I mean, people used to mm. actually save up for a, uh, for Correct. an item or get a personal mm. loan. Isn't isn't that a better option? It is, but it is a much better option. But people. When they do pay off their credit card, they've got to chop it up. Yeah. Mm. yeah it's simply right. chop it up. Yeah. And I know with my mum, I actually rang the credit card the department of my bank and I said, right, you've in kept increasing the limit. They're not allowed to do that nowadays. I said, make it $500. I paid the credit card off for her and that yeah. was fine. But the average, about 50% of Australians over 35 have two or more credit cards. I'm not sure why you need two or more mm. credit cards, but they do have. Well, they keep forcing them on you. We just got Great. a mortgage and we mm. had to get a credit card with it mm. and I just paid a $300 annual fee on a credit card I will never use because mm. I, yeah. I don't like... Uh, so should people chop up their credit Absolutely. cards and then, what, redraw on the house if they've... Redraw well, on the mortgage if they've got one? What if they're renting? What if they don't? Should they get a personal loan from a bank? Or? Well, personal loan's 9%. It's Compared still better. It's still better than 16 to Can 18. Can you answer the question for me? Yeah. That if you've got money, which a lot of mature mm. Australians do, in a fixed deposit, you're getting how much at the moment? 3 or 4% Three maybe? 3 max, 4%, yes. Uh, if you've got savings in there, the same interest rates are incredibly low on your home loan. Correct. Why do they continue to charge such astronomical fees for credit cards? Correct. And I think, it, to me, the bank shouldn't be allowed to do this. So why are they allowed to do that? The government's letting them do it. There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of a swell of... You know, industry people saying they shouldn't be doing it, mm -hmm. but the banks are a law to their own. They really are. And, the, and I've been saying for a long, long, long time, since the Commonwealth Bank got floated, it was owned by the government. Mm. 
Mm. So there was always that Political bank to keep. Pressure. There was always that bank to keep everybody honest. It was yeah. low fees, low everything else. As soon as Combank got floated, fees went through the roof. Everything went through the roof. Charges, service went down. A whole they range have of got things. rid of the. They have got mm. rid of the the two dollar fifty slug that they normally they used to charge on the, you on the ATMs. On yeah. the ATMs. Mm. That's a step forward. It is a step forward. And credit cards. There's no reason why credit cards should be sixteen to twenty percent. No mm, reason exactly. at all. Because they're getting their money really cheap. Mm. The banks are getting their money at one and two percent. And they're lending it out at 16 to 20. That's a big margin. Mm. It's overwhelming, though, as we're mm. saying here, for so many people. Mm. What are those main points to get off that sort of credit card debt treadmill? Oh, we look, might go through them now. Yeah, I mean, to me, the thing is you've got to spend less than you earn. It, it yeah. really is that. And that's about setting <laughs> your budget. And I know a lot of people think budget's a four-letter word, but a budget is actually an empowering thing. It's a positive mm. step to get you to where you want to go. The other thing, I was actually chatting to one of your girls downstairs before and she said, well, how do I save? And I said, 10% mm. of your income every day. Mm. Every week you just put 10% away. Mm. Most people can do 10 plus, normally 20 right. and 30%. You say invest, do you mean just put it in a savings account or put it on the stock market or...? I would put it in the share market if you're just a low investor because buying property is hard at the moment, especially for younger people and millennials. But buy the best shares on the marketplace. When you say the best shares, if you're not familiar mm. with the share market, that, that doesn't mean much. So you're mm. saying buy, buy, buy stock that's very stable. Correct. Like, like Commonwealth Bank shares. Commonwealth Bank shares. <laughs> like bank, well, bank shares are very, are very mm. expensive, but maybe, you know, maybe mm. Woolworths or... Well, the, the actual price of the share is irrelevant to how expensive or cheap it is. It's more how much it's worth. Yeah. So it's a stock... How much the yield is. Well, not necessarily. If a bank share is, or any share is valued at $100 and it's trading at $50, it's cheap. But if mm. it's worth $200, um, sorry, if it's trading at $200 and worth $100, it's quite expensive because you can't compare it just by the share price. It's right. what is it, what's the what's, asset worth? Yeah. Okay. Um, and and um, you also say, which should be self-evident, only spend money on credit cards that you've already got in Correct. the bank. So you can Correct. afford to pay off your credit card every, every month. Every month should pay off your credit card, you know, and, and if the bank offers you a second one, just chop it up. Just keep chopping it up and have one credit card, pay it off every month. And uh, one of those last points mm. you make, which I think is incredibly important, is talk to your kids Absolutely. about saving. Because mm. I think they should do financial literacy at school. Absolutely. You know, we're getting a lot more parents ringing us up every day saying, can you teach my children this? Mm. Um, and I'm saying, well, how about I teach you and you teach your children? Exactly. Because uh, an empowered parent mm. is much better for their child to... and to demonstrate that they can do it and the child yes. will follow. Yeah. Great advice, mm. Dale. Yep. And you've got excellent advice now and also in your new book called mm. Accelerate Your Wealth. Mm. It's available for pre-purchase now via the website wealthwithin.com.au. Oh, Dale? Can you buy that on credit card? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For three easy payments. I'll give you a book. It's okay. Oh, Dale, thank you so much. My really pleasure. important advice. Thank you. Thank you, Dale.